So you've always thought he was a, a decent horse. I mean, has he surprised you how quickly he's climbed up the ladder? Yes, most definitely. Um, you know, he's a horse that never shows you that much. He just does what he's asked to do, and which probably makes him that little bit special to us anyway. Um, he, you know, if you ask him to go a half speed, he'll do a half speed. If you ask him, you know, to run in that listed handicap chase as what he did last time, he'll just do. He'll he'll do enough. He'll he'll do whatever he's asked. I mean, just watching him. I'm not saying you're because you're here, but it, he's a really likable horse. He, he wants to get up in the morning. He wants to work, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. He's a happy horse. Um, he enjoys doing what he does, and um, you know. You've just watched him and I watched him and, you know, he's in very good form and he's happy and I suppose mentally and physically he's in the right shape and that's what we're very happy about. He's an absolute legend to ride. It's really easy, really nice. He has, a, you know when he's feeling well because he squeals, he bucks, but he is an absolute star. He's a nice horse to be around and he's a lovely horse to ride. He's got the most beautiful paces. Um, as I was saying to Neil, I'd actually quite like to take him home and event him. <laughs> he likes to be up there. He likes to dominate. And um, Even what, at home? Yeah, yeah, again at home. You know, I suppose you got to do, you, you want to do what you like doing and and that the horse likes to make it, he likes to be in front. So every day when he rides out, he's up in front mm. because he likes to be a leader. And, you know, I think it's a good sign of a horse that, that likes to be a leader. He's good and confident, you know, and he's not afraid of life's challenges. You know, walking down the road, if there's something different, he, he's willing to have a look at it. And it, it's, it's something that's very good about the horse. Is easy to train? Yeah, <laughs> he must be. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he is tank touch woo, you know, obviously we, well, we are three weeks away and we wouldn't want anything that, to happen. But, you know, he, he's, he's, he's been a gentleman, he's, he's very straightforward and um, fingers crossed he stays that way. Loves galloping, loves his job, loves being out in front. If you put him in behind, nine times out of ten he'll have a sulk. He likes to be up front, he knows he's in charge, he likes to be the boss over everybody else and he's got personality so you can't but love him. He, he is that fortnight of way from he needs a couple of good sharpeners. Um, he, he'd go to John Panvert's on um, Saturday morning, just take him away just to get him you know, on the box and again it's more mentally just to just to get sharpen him up that little bit fitness wise you know he he's he's more or less there but he's um he's just simmering away really yeah you know i've never once said he's going to win the gold cup and um, i'm not going to say that um as i say he's won the four there with four races in the last 12 months he's entitled to go and he's entitled to take his chance and um you know um if, if he finishes Say third or fourth or fifth, we'll be over the moon. It's it's just great to be there.